Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam and today we're going to be discussing Waterways Technology. Ticker symbol is WWT. It trades on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange and it's a company focused on agricultural technology. It's a leader in the agri-tech revolution and if you don't know, one of the major problems facing society today is a global water shortage and crops take up a huge amount of water and if we can eliminate some of this through advanced technology that leads to more efficient usage of water with crops i think that's a win-win situation if you don't know uh, michael burry his main investment now is water he shorted the housing bubble uh, which was a pretty controversial move back then but he made i mean close to 500% right here, as we can see here, close to 500% for his investors, net of fees and expenses, okay? And Michael Burry is focusing all of his trading on one commodity, water, okay? And I think that this stock, as we can see by the past year's performance of over 150% over the past year, uh, is already taking advantage and investors are already becoming interested in this stock for the agricultural tech revolution, right? Right now it's trading at 16 cents, has a market cap of 15 million and i think it is grossly undervalued all right so let's just talk about the main points here uh, and the main investment thesis so it's a global provider of proprietary irrigation technology to agricultural growers its headquarters are in canada with subsidiaries in israel and china uh, and israel if you don't know is a main agri-tech agri -tech country so right now they have 40 million shares in the float which just means that the stock can move easily with strong buying pressure Insider ownership is 57%. So insider skin in the game shows belief in the company by insiders. And of course, 43% of the stock is, is on the float. 2020 revenues were maintained at 12 million, which was the same as 2019. Uh, and this is very exciting to me because during a challenging year, they were able to maintain revenues, which is, I mean, pretty impressive to me. And they're growing uh, by quite a substantial clip for the past quarter. So 2021 Q1 revenues were 5.45 million, almost double the revenues of 2020 uh, Q1, with Q1 orders of 10 million and quarterly revenue growing with sales momentum. Okay, so the main investment thesis is this, water is a scarce resource and we have a global water shortage problem. Crops take up a huge amount of water. We need a smarter irrigation tech to control water usage for crops. And water waste technology is an international leading provider of water irrigation technology, okay? Uh, so that's basically the main investment thesis. And now we're going to look over the slide deck uh, for some more detailed look into the, what this company is. Their mission statement is to become a global leader for agricultural and irrigation projects for high-valued protect, protected crops, okay? So we're sort of combining uh, the shortage in water with technology. So water is our most precious resource. Energy, food, transportation, and nature all depend on a reserve of clean flowing water that is dwindling out at an alarming rate. So global water supply is a top 10 risk facing society in terms of impact and likelihood. By 2050, water demand will increase by 55%. By 2030, the water will may experience a 40% supply shortfall. And so irrigated agriculture accounts for 70% of the world's freshwater withdrawal and over 85% of its con consumption. So that's ridiculous, just the amount that crops take up, right? 85% of, of total consumption, which is, whew, that's a lot, right? Uh, and Israel is the world leader in agritech and a living lab for sector innovation. Only 20% of the land in Israel is arable, uh, which means basically usable for farming, <clears throat> yet still produces 95% of its own food because of advanced agritech and systems. And it has over 900 farms, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And technologies like smart irrigation, robotics, drones, and Internet of Things are revolutionizing the way the world produces food. Water scarcity isn't just hitting you know uh, africa for example it's happening right now in california right so the latest shortage hitting the american west water um and so while chick-fil-a sauce and semiconductors are important for a functioning economy this year's historic drought in the west could affect and we do mean this literally everything so C california governor gavin newsom had put 41 counties under a state of emergency in an attempt to drastically limit water use some scientists say the region is facing the worst drought in centuries, okay? And if we're looking at how this affects uh, everything internationally, water scarcity already affects every continent, all right? So this is a global, literally a global problem. Water use has been growing globally at more than twice the rate of population increase in the last century, and an increasing number of regions are reaching the limit at which water services can be sustainably delivered 
especially in arid regions, all right? Uh, and I, this is not new for me to talk about. Recently, I mean, back in October, I talked about a company called H2O Innovation back when it was trading, again, uh, a penny stock trading at $1.70. Right now, the stock is trading at $2.33, okay? So since then, that's about, uh, if we look here, about a 30%, 37% gain since then, all right? And I, I have invested in H2O Innovation and I'm planning on, you know, keeping my money there. Uh, and I will not be investing in water waste technology up to 48 hours after I post this video. But once that period ends, I am very, very interested in investing in waterways uh, tech stock. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's just take a look at some of their some of their perspectives here. So the drip irrigation market in the U.S. is estimated to reach 1.5 billion in the year 2026. And China, the world's second largest economy, well, I mean, some say that it's China is going to overtake Canada, um, America very, very soon. Is forecasted to reach a projected market size of two billion by 2027, with a compounded annual growth rate of 13.7. So they position themselves as a provider of smarter and more complex irrigation and control systems in light of the changes that are taking place in the agriculture industry. So in the past, the majority of our activity was in providing irrigation solutions for open fields. In the last two years, the company began developing new systems <clears throat> that demand more sophisticated and precise irrigation and control systems. They have subsidiaries in Israel, which is, again, the main leading agritech country, as well as in China. All right. So uh, it has a global footprint. <clears throat> and this just talks about some of their um, some of their projects. Again, when we're looking at the cannabis sector, this is one of the main huge, I would say, huge potential sectors, especially in the States as we're moving towards legalization. Um, and even in Canada, where it's just picking up, and that's a country that I'm from, that I'm very proud to say that it's it's a leading provider of, of uh, the substances, all right? So they have another project in um, China with a total value of 650,000 Canadian, as well as in Ethiopia for 1.3 million. Um, and this just shows you the capital structure, which we already talked about. So insider ownership is high, which I really like. Uh, insiders have skin in the game, which is always good. Q1 2021 financial results, they've seen... 185% change in revenue. So that is very, very impressive, okay? Um, well, overall, a 70% change in revenue, but 185% uh, change in service products. And what I really like seeing is that their margin improved by 18.8% to 22.6%, which means more of their revenue is going straight to their bottom line. Uh, and we can see profit from the period went from uh, 50,000 to 220,000, which is like basically more than quadrupling right there, which is, again, just impressive to me. Uh, and cash and cash equivalents are up by 115% year over year. Uh, total current assets are up by 29.5%. Uh, liabilities are also up. But again, once you're growing at such a fast clip, okay, revenues up 70% year over year, I think it's pretty expected to, uh, to be to be also growing your liabilities to fund that kind of growth. And, and it's impressive how they also were able to take in uh, $220,000 in net profit for that period for Q1 2021. So again, this is a fast growing company. Again, their revenues did not change from 2019 to 2020, despite the pandemic. I mean, it was a slight 0. negative 0. 0.4 decrease. And I, I am just overall very impressed with this company uh, and I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. Again, trades under the ticker symbol WWT under the Canadian Ventures Exchange or like the TSX uh, V. Uh, and I know that I will most likely be considering and investing in this company once 48 hours uh, are, are up when I release this video. So I want to thank you for watching the video. Please be sure to uh, leave a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, and let me know what you think about water waste technology as well as water being the number one commodity in the future. All right. Uh, so, yeah, take care. Cheers. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.